My son was taken from us totally unexpectedly on a beautiful Sunday morning in Weymouth, our hometown for almost 50 years, doing what he loved, but dying because of it. There is no <coughs> consequence. It's arrest and release, arrest and release. These people are taken in, and within hours, they're out. They're on probation. They're out on bail. Nobody follows through. Nobody knows what's going on. Nobody seems to care. The world lost a great guy in my son, and I know I'm talking about my son, but he was a great brother, son, husband, father, friend, soldier. He gave a lot to this Commonwealth, and he still had a lot to give. We need to stand by the families who suffer a lifetime of anguish at the loss of their loved ones, and we need to let them know that we hold the lives of their loved ones in higher regard than that of criminals. Uh, allowing capital punishment will help law enforcement do their job, it will save lives, and it will help law enforcement keep our communities safe. I don't believe that the authors of our Constitution ever intended for us to be limited in terms of what we can apply the death penalty to, certainly not to protect law enforcement officers. Uh, this bill is written specifically to protect not only the police at the state level, but the local level, sheriffs, uh, corrections officers. And I think, uh, and I think I speak with my <coughs> colleague that if you or anyone in this panel uh, has an amendment to approve it, we're, we're open to amendments. We just had a press conference outside where we had uh, many law enforcement officers with us, and it was held at the, um, the Law Enforcement Memorial, where just two weeks ago there was a ceremony where two names were added to that memorial, two names of officers that were killed in cold blood murder. We hope that we never have to add another name to that memorial, and that that bill will help make that happen. And if anybody sitting here in this room, no matter who you are, no matter what you're involved with, thinks it's never gonna to happen to you, God bless you, because I never thought it would happen to me. And we are now under a total cloud of grief every day. We don't know where to go, we don't know what to do, we don't know where to look, because we're still looking for Mike.